What's going to happen once it reaches its fulcrum point? Motors to the Full of stuff about um, empowering indigenous women to grow native Fears. crops. Oh. So, is he? Yeah, yeah. So, in what way is some beardy blacksmith on a cold tip relevant to that? That sounded far more offensive than it was meant. I don't think it did. <laughs> I <didn't laughs> I didn't that very much. Very odd. I just I suspect that she's just another mental. Yeah, that wiring job was good fun, I can tell you. So, the top side? Top side, where the pipes go. Yeah. Underside, where all the magic happens. Winchester 2. Which hopefully will work. Come on then, show the people at home. What, show my horn? <laughs> this is, uh, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's a uh, constant diactivity horn thing, which I think might make a good fog horn. <laughs> so here's the thing. If we set that up on the top of the zill and we played a note for it, a foghorn note, and then made it rotate. Yeah, like <laughs> a lizzy cabinet. Yeah, that would, that would sound brilliant, wouldn't it? <laughs> Massive rotate. So we'd need to be able to make a, um, air, a rotary base joint that air goes through, wouldn't we? It probably wouldn't be that difficult. Come in number six. Yeah, it's got, it ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? <laughs> I haven't put the um, air seal under this, I thought we'll just screw it down for now without one.
Wind chest number two, test number one. Contact. Contact. It's a slightly leaky one. That one doesn't look really leaky one. It's a spectacular leaky one. <laughs> Yeah. Everything else works, so I mean... How old is all that? Sorry? How old? How old's what? The components. Well, the components, I think the magnets are probably 50 years old. Um, the pneumatic motors, God knows, because they came out of Morgan 30 years ago. Popular eight of them, I suppose. You know, somewhere, I did a key map of all that. Put in the paper. So how, um, do we know any call signs or anything? Last time I was here, it made it all make sense. So it was cascading down the array, but I can't remember what. It's not uh, the thing. Well, you told me to tell her, didn't you? I'm sure you did, I'm sure you said, so I'll make a smile. Too impressive, you were just telling me what a great teacher I was a moment ago. <laughs> when I, yeah, now, now I remind you of it. I'm not saying you remind me of my German driving instructor, mine. Don't take no, it the wrong way. But you remind me a bit of my German driving instructor. <laughs> if I had a German driving instructor, you'd probably remind me of him as well. <laughs> I'm very gentle. <laughs> Actually, something epic's about to happen. Not yet, it's not. Hey, maybe sound a bit sick here, isn't it? I need to stop the MIDI. Do you want to tell us why this is so exciting, Mark? Um, you won't want to know how this works, because every time I try to mention it, Max's eyes glaze over. But effectively, it's making these chips count to 127 at 15,000 times a second. Um, you can't see that happening with LED splash or anything, so I'm playing a music file here into the MIDI decoder, which is now coming out, these are all the separate MIDI notes being sent out to the, these chips, which are then being sent out to all these solenoids. So this, is, this here is a single MIDI note, and that's the clock, it's counting to 127, and that's the one note being switched on and off. That's it, so we can see that the, as far as this part of the circuit is concerned, it's working, it's doing what it should do. So uh, I'm going to gradually start powering up each section of it now until we actually get it working into the... the or something goes pop. Or until something goes pop. It'll be one or the other. But it's encouraging so far, it's responding to MIDI data, which is nice. It. What were you adjusting it to do? Ah, you're hunting chemtrails with your oscilloscope. Oh, commercial confidentiality. Yeah, because like everyone will be falling over themselves to copy this. That's what I figured. A lot of this is visually interesting, obviously. Will it be a squiggle on the scope? Uh, no, but what you saw then yeah. was. Um, uh, Oh, was a note playing. I can't. This oh. is whenever it comes in on here, so we'll have to wait for a note to be played again. There it goes. Oh, oh, oh. So that, that's an actual <laughs> musical note being played. So far, so good, and no explosions, no strange. Not. Should be seeing regular MIDI data coming out of that, but we're not. That's the MIDI data, or we're seeing bits of it, but it's not really corresponding to all the notes that are coming out. Huh. <sighs> Why is that then? Yeah, just start from scratch, just from the uh, the MIDI input out to the Arduino connection, and should be able to find if there's a wire off somewhere. Fairground organ music, um, American you control. Didn't, you didn't do it. No, no, I was gonna, I was gonna. Uh, if this all works out, I'm gonna make an actual sound font for the sequencer, which mimics this. Can you do hardcore drum and bass with pipe organ? Uh, eventually, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah very much so. Shall we see if it works? No, let's see if it works. Give us some wind.
good. Yeah. Uh, we need to just watch that cable, that's all. I don't know how this for looks. Works. Sorry? That works. Is it? Raise it a little bit more so that. <laughs> If I had the curse while I could simply adjust it on there, but I'm trying to think of a way of doing it without having to reprogram the Arduino. I mean, if we have to, it's not the end of the world. But music anyway, what we need to do now really is tune it. Next one. going to do now is to try and play a tune that will allow the two ranks to sound separately from each other. Take it away. Play that bit again. What's that? Play while you're playing again. Is um, I believe up in your uh, room in there and the upstairs, we've got a, a 24, the two octave rank, which pretty much takes on from where these end. We've got an extra lower octave of bigger pipes, plus an overlap octave. So the next step is for me to get that compound note chest I've got working at home wire it up with some little pipes, uh, some little tubes to that um, pull down chest that we restored very first thing off and then stick a chest of bigger pipes behind it and then we've got you know a decent range then but then we need to start building it into a unit get uh, get the wind regulated so it's not coming off straight off the blower so we've actually got pressure regulation going on start voicing the pipes make it sound like a proper organ so what do you want to do today? Pack it all away nicely. <laughs> <laughs> and 
give ourselves a pat on the back.